Hello everybody and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. In the previous episode we went on a medium adventure with a few people um, like Sabrina. We actually got a bit of story development with a few of the uh, wicked people from her past that ambushed us while we were camping. And uh, we unfortunately got a, a pretty a pretty deadly sickness on, on Sabrina, which we managed to remove, but then also our occultist, Ryan, I do believe, contracted it. Um, we managed to get our rescuer as our new member that's joining us, and we'll head in and go over his backstory now. Here we are in the cursed estate, back again. Everyone's actually looking pretty okay for stress, apart from uh, Smith and Alice. They are both... Very, very stressed out, but they, I do believe, are in the sanatorium in the penance hall together. Um, hopefully de-stressing and that they should be okay. We brought on our rescuer in the uh, in the previous episode. Something I do want to quickly go over sort of out of our roleplay session before we get into this. The game recently just received an update, which is the Butcher's Circus, I do believe. It's the PvP update. Um, and unfortunately, I've had to roll back my game to a... The previous version before that update, because that update has broken a lot of the mods, meaning that if you play with custom cla custom uh, classes, your game just crashes. Um, hopefully, this should be fixed soon. But if I am forced to update and I can't keep the game rolled back, we are going to have to put the series on hold at least until that is sorted out. Hopefully, we shouldn't have to do that, but there is a chance, so I wanted to bring it up and mention it just in case. I really, really hope that's not going to be the case, but. There is a certain possibility that it, that it could be. But either way, let's go and get into our rescuer's backstory. Here we are with Lucas, our rescuer. These are his two St. Bernard dogs. The one with the scarf is named Amadeus, and the brown and white dog is named Jonas. And this backstory was written by Seabass. During the War of the Spanish Succession, Lucas was drafted due to his knowledge of being a medic. In the Great Turkish War, Lucas single-handedly saved almost a hundred lives. And in other skirmishes, he would save many in the most frantic and dangerous of positions. However, war left him with a bad case of PTSD. Fearing that he would go psychologically insane, Lucas needed needed somebody, anything, to comfort him. With little money left over, he feared that nothing could save him from his inner demons. But on his last visit to his family, Lucas found two harmed St. Bernards tied up to a purse near a forgotten building, and judging from the noises inside, he deducted that these two were going to be forced to fight. Hastily, Lucas freed the two dogs and fled with them, and when he figured they were safe, they rested at a nearby inn. The dogs seemed to love their newfound owner and vice versa. Lucas named these two dogs based on Christian ideology, for he believed that God had led them to meet each other in this darkest path. When he heard about the many casualties in the darkest dungeon, Lucas knew, despite his PTSD, that he had some souls to save. Now this is an absolutely brilliant backstory, uh, really really touches on a lot of why he'd be here and I really like the fact that he even gave a backstory as to why he has the dogs with him. This guy is going to be a, a very decent field medic for us. Now you may see that there is a lot of, um, a lot of issues with um, the naming conventions of a lot of these things here. This seems to be due to the fact that I've rolled back my game to a previous update um with the uh with the butcher's circus because i technically have rolled back to a version of the game that's supposed to be running on mac and linux and i'm on windows and there seems to be some comp compatibility issues i don't think it'll affect gameplay at all but unfortunately we are going to have some peculiar looking um peculiar looking names and things here so hopefully that shouldn't affect gameplay too much it does seem to be mainly with the modded classes let's actually have a little look see here um let's go with renault um yeah them ones are fine but anything that's modded seems to have uh something strange about it but either way we should be okay and we're actually going to be having something a little different here now i suggested in a previous episode on my discord that we start having people suggest team compositions for specific quests and missions and i suggested that we go ahead and try our hand at beating a boss and uh db fan actually came up with a pretty interesting little um little group of people to help us out here so we'd be going with artemis Dismas, Renault, and Urku, and he's actually put together a little story behind uh, why these guys would be traveling together, so we'll go into that now. Okay, here we are with our team. I have gone through and changed a few skills on a few people. Uh, I have given everyone relics, uh, trinkets, so that we've got some things to go down. Urku already had these two. He's going to be gaining extra max HP and extra protection, which is great for him. And we get extra scouting chance. Um, we have gone with Renault, giving him the um, 
the jar of slime, which is going to increase his stun resist, slightly reduce his max HP by just four. Um, and it's going to give him a chance to self-heal, which is going to be really, really nice. Uh, along with plus 10% damage, plus 20 percent bleed, bleed, bleed resist, which means he's got extra bleed and stun resist, which is going to be lovely. Um, and he is going to take extra crits, but we should be able to counteract the crit damage hopefully with this um then we've gone with the steady braces for slightly less dodge but a decent amount extra ranged skill accuracy which should hopefully help a decent amount um and then we haven't got anything on artemis we have also changed a few skills around on these guys so we now have duelists advance and the holy lance this means that these two can kind of dance with each other and go back and forward as for the story of why these guys are traveling together as i said db fan has written a story while the others have been exploring the other dungeons skeletons have gotten more and more common and are threatening the hamlet more than usual and causing minor nuisances as such, Renault, being a holy crusader, decide to find a route to the evil and chose Urku and Dismas as they have experience with the ruins and so won't need to be looked after quite as closely. Meanwhile, Artemis has joined the crew volunteering her skills in healing, but is more after seeing more of the occult up close and personal. Plus, if she learns necromancy, she figures she can use it to help herself. Great little backstory there. Um, always want to be having those when we're doing more group comps. Of course, not every single group composition is going to be decided by you guys. But if you do have group compositions that you wish for me to use and you have a, a reasonable story as to why they'd be put together, that's going to be great. Because we do want to be building up both hatreds and friendships between the group. There's going to be certain people that won't want to work with each other at all. And other people that really do want to work well to together and do in fact work well together. So these guys should be pretty decent and we are going to kill our first boss here. It is a medium exploration. I did have to unfortunately sell a trinket in order to... Um, get these guys the skills they needed but it was only a trinket for a uh, twilight night which we haven't even seen yet so i wasn't particularly worried about doing that so let's uh let's go and get some provisions we're gonna need quite a lot here so we're gonna need go with torches first we need like i think 16 torches we'll go with 16 food um we need th four of these and we'll just go with two of everything else Okay, we've just about got enough here. Uh, this should be good for good to go for us. And we do, of course, have our firewood as well. So let's get into this. Uh, I'll leave the little boss dialer to play, and then we'll go into some diary entries, because we do have a few for this episode. Mastery over life and death was chief among my early pursuits. I began in humility, but my ambition was limitless. Who could have divined the prophetic import of something as unremarkable as a twitch in the leg of a dead rat. Okay, so here we have a backstory, sorry, a diary entry from the uh, claimant, uh, the claimant twins, the claimant brother and sister. Uh, one from Smith. Ryan has really been keeping my sister afloat during battle. He seems at least competent. I'll be sure to speak well of him when asked. Um, and then Alyssa says, the way Sabrina volleyed the arrows was incredible. She really knows what she's doing, and getting to know her while camping was quite insightful, and her pet little bird is adorable. That's a cute little diary entry there, that one's by Sofrol, and we also have another one by Sofrol for Sabrina. Our fight with the beasts that dwell the dungeons have attracted unwanted visitors from my past. They've gotten a lot stronger since the last time we dueled. Thankfully I've trained for this moment, but I don't know how much longer before their leader returns. And that's a bit of an insight again by Sofrol in into the uh, into the little bit of backstory that we saw from Sabrina about her past, and we do have some other backstories and uh, diary entries that we'll be going into later on in this episode from some other people. But let's get right into this. Is it? This is going to be rather difficult. We have to be careful. We have to be careful. So we've got Urku up in front. We're mainly going to be using his um, his sk this skill here for bleed and knockback that's gonna be really good we can start with trample we could we could rearrange him to the back line and start with trample uh that could be a decent idea um in fact should we do that now should we should we put you in back because the thing is trample's gonna hit everything and it's gonna hit for quite a lot and it's gonna knock back and clear corpses if we need it so I do think it'd be a good idea. So let's let's try out at least for our first battle, uh, getting him to the back line, and trying that out and seeing how that goes. Uh, of course, we do have movement skills on these two as well, so we can move these around as and when we need to, and um, we'll sort of see how that goes. But the the boss is going to be here. The boss is always as the furthest away that it can possibly be, and we got this already, which I'm gonna think just take with you. 
Hey, there you go. Full stress relief there on Renault. That is absolutely brilliant. A real nice word to start off. And <laughs> we get some of that stress back immediately. So it's actually kind of a good thing that we ended up there. Uh, that we ended up taking that stress relief there. Because that would not have been a good amount of stress to take straight away. And we're on to our first battle. We want to try and take our stress dealer out first off here. We've got horror here. I do believe we can clear horror with this. Yes, we managed to clear the horror there. Lovely. Um, and we'll just go for a, a pistol shot on the back line. Until we can rearrange our guys. I'm going to take a little bit of damage here. Got to remember though, we have good healing and we have the ability to um, to gain a bit of healing off of hitting enemies. So we'll hope that that procs every now and again. It's a 30% chance. So then we'll go with Trample. That'll push you to the front. Deal a good amount of damage and rearrange as well. Accusation. Another bit of horror there. So we'll just keep clearing the horror as, as much as we can. Unfortunately, 74% chance to clear the horror and we didn't even get the chance, which is a little upsetting. Um, I think I'm just going to heal myself here. It's only a heal for, for, for three, but I think it's good. And there you go. A nice kill right off the bat there. And this is already a very, very promising start. Um, these guys work very well together. Of course, Renault and Dismas have uh, a bit of history with each other anyway, so they're already kind of uh, well acquainted with each other and getting a surprise there is also lovely. Um, let's go for a heal on you. We can clear ourselves of bleed and things like that here as well. Um, and we'll go for a duelist advance here. And that's a kill already. We've activated repost, which is going to be brilliant. Take care of you. We need to remember to, to refresh him back to the... Uh, behind. Ooh, and this is this is a really, really, really nice uh, nice build we've got here. And ooh, we took a crit there. Of course, we've got a 2% chance higher to, to take crits as Renault here. So we've got to be we got to be aware of that, but we should be okay. And do this advance. It isn't going to quite work here, so let's just go for a pistol shot um, and a heal on ourself here. But I think this is going to be just an absolutely brilliant group. We're going to also activate repose here as well. Uh, but we are going to take more stress if we do that. So let's just take out a body here. How much does this stress last for? We should try and heal the stress off of him, to be honest. Keep clearing that horror. It's just going to, it's going to help us out in the long run. Uh, and this should clear that up. There you go. Oh, yeah. I like, I like this group. I like this group a lot. We have a little bit of loot here. So let's push you, push you to the back again. I always forget it's that button there. Nope. Keep going to the back, to the back. But yes, I do apologise about the uh, the the names and everything. That's I know it's not exactly super law friendly for the for the role play of this series, but it's some, something that we're gonna have to deal with. Um, I think we're just gonna have to leave that for now. Everything we've got right now is a bit too valuable to be uh, to be leaving. Right, we'll keep heading forward. Keep on going. Come on, Renault. You can do this. You can do this. No battle here, and we'll just head the way to the. Um, to the actual objective. I don't want to go down any routes that we don't need to. These guys don't want to deal with any extra stress, really. We'll, we'll think about camping, probably, and a bit of scouting there is really, really nice. Um, we'll probably camp here, because uh, that'll be after two battles. Oh, wait. I don't know what I'm doing there. There you go. So, who's got the best trap disarm? 90% on you. Let's, let's just go with the easy one there. Get a bit of stress relief. Only two, but... It's better than hope than unfortunately getting damaged and all that. So I'm just gonna go for another key here because I think we might need our shovels. So let's just do that. Okay, so we do have a battle coming up next, so we don't have to torch up fully here. We have two battles coming up next actually. So okay, let's let's make sure we're ready for this. Ooh, we do have a, one of the eldritch horror sort of things here. Um, so. Let's have a little look here. What should we go for? Um, bypass guard. We could take off quite a lot of dodge. Um, and it take, mainly receive extra crits, things like that. But I think for now we should just stick with the, the ability to heal and things like that. I wonder if the crits received includes healing crits. I would imagine it does, actually. Um, so, so we don't want to be using Duelist Advance yet. Simply because we are in a position where that would be not a great idea. I think it's going to be a good idea to hit everything there. Simply because it means that the Trample will have a higher chance of getting kills. Which is always good. And the, the fact that Trample clears bodies is also really, really nice for us. He's empowered that guy for extra damage and stealth, which isn't great. We are going to take a bit of bleed here. Luckily, we can clear that when need be, though. And what are we going to take here? Bit of possession. 
Oh, we get extra damage, but we take some stress. That's actually a decent trade. I can go with that. Is that um, just two rounds? Yeah. So we're not going to get that for the next load, load of combat here. And there you go. This group is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, we'll push you to the back again. And I think this is a really, really good setup. So a huge thank you to DB Fan for the suggestion for these guys being put together. I feel like it really works. And hopefully we should build up some good bonds between these guys here. So we'll go in and, and try and do the thing again. If we'd ever get Urku to roll first, that'd be great. But I just don't think that's ever going to happen. Um, so what has happened there? You've uh, Oh, you've healed yourself for stress. What is, what is that from? Uh, it's probably from this, Optimist, but I'm not exactly sure what that does right now. That is the most unfortunate thing that we've got going on right now, I think. We'll go for a bit of a stress heal on you. There you go, that's nice. Um, and go for a ranged shot on... Let's have a look. What Do we have any potential kills? Let's go for a potential kill. Ah, uh, we didn't quite get it there, unfortunately. And we'll just go for you and a big crit there. Absolutely wonderful. Gives, gives us an extra bit of protection for a little while here. and Really like that. And we'll go for a trample. This is just... Oh, this group. This group's fantastic. Urku, you beast. You can tell that pit fighting training has really got him prepared for this. I mean, it's a tragic part of his past, but... God damn, does it help us fight. <laughs> I think everyone in the group is, uh, is very, very welcome to have him. Um, not that I think we'll need to do this, but I'll, I'll do this and activate repost anyhow. Um, and try and maim you. Of course, the bleed isn't really going to take effect. Uh, unfortunately, Holy Lance didn't quite hit either. Um, he has got a decent... He's only got five dodge. It's not as much as you'd think. We'll just keep stress relieving here. We'll just go for a normal shot on you there. There you go. And then push you to the back again. We've just got to remember to push to the back. And do you... I think... I think we just touch this and we gain a pretty big buff, don't we? Oh, we um we gained Rune Technicians. Plus 15% damage while in the ruins. We're in the ruins right now, so that's actually brilliant. So really, really good one for us to get there. Uh, and we're going to get a little bit more stress relief here, which is nice. Uh, we got our next food check. Sadly, we're probably not going to be able to get the full stress relief food check. Uh, because we've eaten so much of it already. Um, I think this is the room we want to be camping in, though, isn't it? Yeah. So we'll camp here. See if we can get some good buffs going. When you don't need to heal as much, it, it's always nice because you can focus on actually buffing your party up. And there you go. We actually get the stress relief and the heal here. Everyone's at full. Basically, everyone's at really low stress. So let's have a little look-see. Um... Plus 45, so, oh god damn. Um, the reason he has this, I do believe if you, you can go Berserk, which is his, um, when you get to the 100 stress mark, and it can actually be really, really good. Uh, plus 25% damage, ooh, interesting proposition there. Uh, let's see, do we have any, like, big heals first? Um... Self only, so we, we, I don't think we have any prevent, oh no, we do have a prevent, prevent nighttime ambush, okay. So, I think we I think we do this first. We prevent nighttime ambush. That's going to help us out. Um, I think we go with. Yeah, I think I think we go with that. Clean guns, and then. This one's really interesting, but I don't think it's a good idea. I think we just go for, um, I don't know, actually. It's very difficult. Should we just go for this? A minus 27% stress for all battles. Yeah, let's just do that. It's a bit of a weird one. We haven't really buffed anyone up too much apart from uh, Dismas here. Dismas is pretty buffed up. Uh, he gets a lot of extra crit accuracy and damage with his range skills, which is... We don't use his range skills as much now that we're doing this whole sort of little dance we've got going on. But when we do use them, they're going to be very, very valuable. And that is a big get for us right now. Um, let's, let's take those on instead. But that's a big get for us. That's a lot of money. We, this is what we really need. We need money so badly. We've been pretty low on it for, for a little while now. Uh, it, unfortunately, she doesn't get the stress reduction, but... Ooh. So, we've got this bat here. The bat does have repost. Apparently, so... Th there's, a, there's a way you can play this. Apparently, the bat will will deal, like, big stress to one person if you, um... 
if you attack it now, or you can let it wake up and do an AoE stress that stresses everyone out a little bit. I'm not sure what's the best to do with that for now, because we've got the minor stress. I'm just going to activate it then. Yeah, take on nine stress. It's not much at all, and we'll even just heal the stress there as much as we can. Uh, and getting this guy to do this straight away is lovely. The bat actually dodged, but getting everyone rearranged there is quite nice. I'm going to try to try and take out that bat immediately to stop taking on too much stress. But I think this is just... Uh, Urku, Renault, Dismas, Artemis. Artemis in the back. She, you can tell she really doesn't. She really doesn't care for this group at all. They're just like she said in her previous diary. Pretty much just meat shields for her at this point. But ooh, big crit there. Nice one, Dismas. Um, they're pretty much just meat shields for her at this point. But she's 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 working with them. She's healing up. She's she's doing good at least. And one thing I'm really happy about, I'll say this, but we haven't been getting a ridiculous amount of misses yet, which is awesome. We'll clear that bleed. We got a... Oh, my God. Look, zero stress on everyone. How how can it be? How can it be? Um, I'm just going to Holy Lands and move you forward to get rid of that, because why not? And in fact, we got a heal off of that, too, which is great. Tiny bit of stress there. Um, rip shot. I tried just to maybe get more damage out of the ranged attack there. It didn't really yield too much for us, but nonetheless. And Urku is being very accurate today. Normally, he's not that accurate. Um, let's get rid of the food. Risky, but we'll get rid of the food. And do this. There we go. Much better trade there. And we still have our stress for the next three battles, which means that we, even if we get a battle like this, I was just about to say that. If we get a battle like this, we should still have our buff. Um... I'm going to minus the dodge on you because you have a lot of dodge. A lot of dodge. And that, that really annoys me. Uh, so this is going to deal... You've got 10 HP. You've got 8. That's not going to deal enough. And I forgot to I forgot to change around Urku as well. So let's just activate Repurse and try and get a kill. And we did. Lovely. No dodge for you. Holy Lance. Oh my god, this combo. This combo, guys. It's mental. Look at that. Didn't even get a chance. Didn't even get chance, right? Make sure you're back there. That is just it's 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 a, absolutely bonkers how good this is. So thank you very much. Uh, we'll definitely do this with you because this is going to be a buff, I do believe. Twenty uh, thirty percent damage until camp. Oh my god, he's got so he's got plus ten percent damage. Then he's got plus thirty percent damage, and he's got plus fifteen percent damage. He has a lot of damage as compared to normal. It's, it's kind of crazy, actually. We've got ourselves a sack here. But these guys, these, these guys are going to be kind of bonded for life after this, I think. They, they are really, they're really finding a way to work super well together. Ooh, and um, I believe this is the, the Sabrina uh, thing that we had before. I wasn't expecting these guys here, but we should be okay with them. Let's uh, make sure to keep everyone topped up. Ooh, a nice crit there. Thank you very much. And let's just try and take you out. I didn't quite get him. Let's trample these guys. Finished him off. Lovely. Getting Urko in front here is so good as well. That is such a huge amount of damage we've got going on right now. And again, try and take you out. There you go. Beautiful. Oh, and we even got, we even got this, which... Uh, on attack, self-knockback. Interesting. Okay, this is this is going to be difficult to manage. Uh, so we'll take that. We'll get rid of these. We'll get rid of these and we'll take both of them. I don't like to get rid of things like that because you never know when you get poisoned and stuff. But we shouldn't be eating poison down here, I wouldn't think. Right, make sure you're at the back. You've got to be ready here. Is, is everyone ready? Is everyone ready? Is there any, is there any buffs we can give? Uh... Let's also give a buff to you. Just get some, yeah, extra resists and things, just in case. And I think everyone's pretty good now, so let's head on in. Are you all ready? Renault, Dismas, Artemis, Urku, are you all good? I think, I think everyone's good. You, have, you do have a bit of a debuff there, but don't worry about it. We'll go in and see how we go here. Okay, I'm ready. Six feet under. Starting off with some stress here. Uh... Let's try and just reduce that stress immediately. In fact, what sort of dodge do you have? Neither of you have any dodge, so that's fine. We can we can deal with that. And we'll just get some stress off of everyone here. And try and keep everyone in a good spot. Of course, while Urku's still in the back line there, we just want to be um, 
Let's actually try and apply bleed here. That could be really, really powerful. There you go. Nice bit of bleed. We'll go for another attack on you. And let's trample. There you go. Taking out the front line easily. Easily. And these two are just going to dance between each other. Getting uh, getting repulse activated early is going to be really useful for us here. We'll get you healed up. Lovely. Um, take out you. Yeah, Urku's going to be brilliant for taking out the uh, the guys in front. So let's activate repulse. And then Holy Lance. Unfortunately, we can't Holy Lance while there's something there. So let's just go for a bit of... Um... No, no, let's Holy Lance anyways because we need to reposition. We need to reposition and we'll give you a bit more healing. Urku's getting up there. Um, and I think this just activates Repost for another round, doesn't it? So we might as well do this. Yeah. Okay, it does, it does um, increase the crit chance but reduce the uh, damage though. So that's something to think about. But this, I think Urku can one-shot these front guys. So that's always going to be useful. And yeah, this is, this guy is done. He is so done. So, taking quite a bit of stress there. That's not ideal. Not ideal. Um, do we want to go for a post again? Or do we want to just do this? Let's just do that and try and get rid of some of the riffraff here. Okay, you're going to heal yourself for a bit of stress. Again, selfish as always, but... At least she's helping out people when she can. We'll take out you. And... Sadly, we'll just take out a body there. Get you back into position. He's going to spawn another one there, most likely. And that's why we need Repost activating every round, really. So he's in range to get uh, get Repost. Holy Lance. And I think that's it. 39 on a crit. These guys have done exceptionally well today. Exceptionally well. Um, that is for the Acolyte class only. Uh, that's very interesting, actually. We'll, of course, take that. I don't think we need the Blightstone, although we can just throw away these and take it, so we might as well. And an absolutely brilliant adventure for these guys. This has been an uh, unprecedented amount of success here. It really has. Uh, let's, um, let's return to the Hamlet. These guys will be decorated as, uh, as valiant adventurers. And we also gained the Focus Ring, which I think is going to be very valuable for us here. The focus ring seems insanely good. Uh, we gained ourselves bloodthirsty, um, fascinated injuries, wounds, and torture. Again, it, that very much makes sense for Urku. I mean, he he has been uh, living a living a life before the darkest dungeon of very much injury, wounds, and torture. Uh, he's going to get extra stun skill chance. Dismas here is going to get extra bleed duration, which is beautiful for Dismas. And Artemis is going to gain um, minus. 30% healing received when below HP and extra melee skill damage. Both of those shouldn't be too consequential and everyone's level 2 as well now, which is great. Uh, getting people to level 2 finally is uh, is going to be a big step up for us and we actually gain a flagellant here. Um, so we'll just we'll quickly just close that up and just see what else we've got available to us. Um, we have ourselves... Ooh, okay, so this is this is really good actually. So um, I, I said this before, this is going to be something that we, that we do often. Um, we're going to throw out Lucas here um, and take on the level 1 version because we've literally not even used Lucas yet and then just rename here. Was that how it's spelt? Let me just check that. Um, no, it's not. It is Lucas. Good, good, good. Right, so that's that's great because that means we can now swap out all these skills whenever we want, and he's already got leveled up armor. So it just it just essentially saves us money. And then stagecoach wise, I think we need to upgrade our roster size here. Um, I do need to start upgrading some other things, but roster size is pretty important for us. Um, and I think we'll take on um the succubus as our next um. Our next character to take on here. So we'll take on the Succubus. Succubus is really fun to play around with as well. Uh, so that's going to be really, really nice. And we'll sort by level. Just so we know who's... We've only got one level zero right now. So we're, we're really getting up there with the levels. Um, and we'll also take on, I think, just the Flagellant as well. Let's have a little look. Where can we take him on again? There is a way you can get back to this. Oh, there it is. We'll take on a level zero Flagellant as well. And Flagellant is apparently a pretty decent uh, stress healer. Uh, yeah, that's pretty good, actually. Self... Ooh, stress minus 11, but self plus stress. 
Suffer. He seems interesting. He definitely seems interesting. Someone's going to have to, like, give me a uh, give me a heads up on how best to play the fl the flagellant there. Um, but he seems definitely an interesting character. And uh, I'm, I'm wondering, should we go for another adventure, or just a short one today? Um, I, I know we haven't done the backstories for these guys, and normally I would introduce our new characters immediately and go through with them. But I think we'll, we'll go on another adventure um, and just go on a little short one. Let's, let's see if we can find a short adventure here. Uh, we do have a short level 2 adventure. The rest are medium. Yeah, the rest are medium. We have, we have a short level 2 adventure here. Um, level 2 adventures with level 1 characters would leave us in a little bit of a tough spot, I think. Uh, so maybe it's not the best idea. Maybe we ought to be going for a medium level 1. Uh, but that they might not end up being too long, so we'll see. Um... Let's let's have a little look. Less stress. Book of relaxation. Okay, let, let's see what the best thing for us would be. Um, look at here. The Vestal. We don't even have a Vestal yet, but that would be... That'd be decent. Um, or we have... Plus eight dodge. That's a cultist only, though. Um... I, I don't know. I'm, I'm I'm very I'm very torn on whether I should do another another run or not. Uh, but for now, we'll we'll just we'll, we'll leave it there. Now I'll, I'll I'll go and ask uh, the the Discord see what they think, and maybe we'll come back to this episode. Okay, so I don't think we're going to end up going to do another mission here. The episode is already getting on a little bit. Um, and considering we only have medium missions left, I'd rather leave this for a, a new composition of people and see how that goes. Uh, let's just actually go over with our newfound money and see if there's anything that needs upgrading and uh, sort of put some of our resources into that. We can actually see uh, who is lacking upgrades and things like that as well. Uh, it does look like... Um, Elise and Smith are, uh, are, are back to a normal level of stress, which is always nice. So let's take a little look. Do we do we need any upgrades in here that we can that we can get on with? We, we could reduce our cost. Have a look in here as well. Um, we've got a lot of bust. They're the main thing we have right now. Uh, we might be able to do some things with with stress relief in here. Um, we can reduce cost by a good amount here. Um, and in here, we can also increase a lot of these. I think I think it'd probably be a good idea to go for some of these. Let's buff those up, uh, and then we could ease, we could increase the number. I think it might be a good idea to do some trading with uh, with some busts to get. So we need to go. F We've got twenty busts. Oh wait, maybe, maybe we can't do that trading then. Maybe with portraits. How many of them do we need? We need 13. So we need to go from 5 to... That'd be 11. Let's do that. And then we need two more. So we can we do... This. And that needs 20. Yeah, we can do that. And then upgrade that as well. I think this is going to be good for getting... It's, it's, it's another avenue to spend a lot of money, which is obviously not great. But I think this is something that we need to do, need to get upgraded. We need we need the ability to remove a lot of quirks and things as we go on here. So that's going to be good. But let's go across and upgrade any armor of anyone that's missing upgrades so far. So we got two, 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 one. You need upgrading. You guys need upgrading. You need upgrading. You need upgrading. You need upgrading. You need upgrading. And that's all we can do for now. And then we're, we're down to 8,000. We'll see if there's anyone else that needs um, some serious work in terms of in terms of skills. So let's just take a look at people. Nope, you're fine. Fine. Um, we definitely want to be upgrading this. Honestly, I think that's the only thing on Rind that needs, needs, needs an upgrade right now. Uh, you're fine. You're fine. I just want to make sure everyone's in the best position they can be in for us right now. Um, that's, that's only going to increase stress relief by one. I don't think that's entirely necessary. These these guys, they could do with a decent amount of upgrading here. So let's have a little look. Smith and Elise, they've been doing actually great work. And uh, they've been 
talking about the town and getting to know everyone. Of course, they did work here beforehand, so they kind of understand the uh, the estate and know what's going on. Let's have a little look, see. Um, so, heal 12%, that seems really good. Uh, stress healing, that'd be still... That's not great as an upgrade. Um, mainly looking for things that would buff us up quite a lot. That's, that's extra protection. Um, increase. Yeah, we'll go with that. And then activating repost. Yeah, we'll also buff up that as well. That's going to be good for those guys. Clint, I think Clint's fine. Yep, Clint's looking good. You're looking good. Trell's looking great. Of course, anyone that we pulled in at rank 1 uh, already is already fully skilled up, which is really, really nice for us. We haven't used Sixth in a little while here, so maybe maybe we could bring in Sixth onto our next adventure. Um, let's let's try and... Should we just should we just fully upgrade Sixth? But all three of them. And then I'm not sure whether to change that out or not, because we could change that out for, um, for this one here, the corpse, but I really like that. Uh, we'll have a look. Maybe you guys have some ideas what we can upgrade for uh, for sick there. We don't want to be going much lower than like 5,000 here. Uh, so we'll make sure we don't. Let's have a little look. Um, that's pretty good. We'll take that. Crimson Lance. That's something we'll be using for the back line. Unlikely to be that useful. Um, and I think we'll also go with that as well. Them two. And then ha Hammurabi. Hammurabi definitely needs some upgrades here. Um, yeah, definitely. So I think we'll go with Chop, Hugh, and his healing. And I very rarely use the Intimidate, so I'm not going to upgrade that yet. Uh, Linus, he could maybe do with a little bit of upgrading here. Um, let's just go for his Blunderbuss for now, though. Just his main attack. Uh, Maggie, we definitely want to get her upgraded, so let's go with... How's this going to affect this? So, increase blight, increase damage. Um, doesn't increase healing. It doesn't seem to increase healing at all. It just increases the blight damage and chance, which isn't great for us, to be honest. Uh, this is going to be an increase to healing. Um, yeah, we'll go with that. And I think that's also going to be an increase to healing as well. Yeah, let's go with that. Them two looks good. Isaac, does he need any buffs? No, Isaac's good. Mary's good. Ruby is looking a little bit light. Let's just upgrade... Let's upgrade both of these for Ruby. Um, Bookshot. Yeah, let's, let's upgrade them two. Morgana's looking great. Willow is looking a little light. Um, we'll go with his main attack. Looking good. And we'll go with his uh, life train as well. I know we said I, well, I said I wasn't going to go too low here. But honestly, getting everyone upgraded. We can also just sell a few things that we're not going to use. Like, honestly, this is pretty good. But how much does it sell for? Uh, 15. Why does it only sell for 15? Um, we shall sell... Honestly, I think I'll just sell that. It's not its not a massive amount of money, but it'll help. Um, and we're almost back up to 5,000. And let's have a look. Do we have an Acolyte? I don't think we do. What are we going to put our focus ring on? You guys let me know in the comments or on, on Discord who we should give the focus ring to. We will be changing up what trinkets we give people as we play. We don't have many of them right now. We'll be kind of swapping those around as we play, but you guys can give me some extra um, info on who you think that it'd be best on. Uh, but we got another diary entry here. Uh, we have a diary entry from Willow, who we just upgraded, the Dark Wraith, and this one's from Shep. I came into this place to eliminate evil, yet the quantities of monsters seem to be growing ever larger. I hope the others have the strength to withstand the onslaught. I have noticed Isaac, the Plague Doctor, looking at me very intently from time to time, and then writing in a small journal. I wonder what he's doing. And then from the opposite side of that, um, we have the Plague Doctor... Um, Isaac, and you might actually remember that he's, his uh, backstory actually included an entry about the um, the Dark Wraith Willow. Uh, but the, the Plague Doctor, Isaac from Shep here. The Dark Wraith in our midst is so interesting. He has no eyes, so I can never tell where he's looking unless he stares right at it. Sometimes it feels like he's watching me, yet I'm standing 
to the other side of him. He never washes the armor, nor does he take it off. He never seems to get dirty. When the others are asleep, all he does is sit down and stare at the wall, seemingly meditating. Overall, I find his activities fascinating, and I can't wait to find out more. So just a really nice bit of basic interaction between the party. It doesn't have to be particularly groundbreaking in terms of people getting to know each other. It's just, it adds life and it's a really great addition there by Chef. But I think here is going to be where we leave off the first ep uh, the first episode, well, this episode, um, as we went through a pretty good battle there and it, it, seemed, it seemed to go incredibly well, actually. Um, and yeah, I think we're going to leave it off there. So I hope you guys did enjoy and I'll see you guys in the next one.